let's have a look at the Bootstrap API. Just before recording this video, I fine-tuned a BERT model on the Glue Arma PC dataset. We won't go over the fine-tuning code here because you can find it in any Transformers tutorial or by looking at the videos linked below. What interests us here is what happens once training is finished and we've got metrics we're happy about. This video requires you to have your authentication token stored, which can be easily done by typing huggingface-cli login in a terminal or like this in the notebook by using an exclamation mark. With that done, the push to have API allows us to upload to the Hugging Face Hub our model, its configuration, and the associated tokenizer. We just have to specify a repository name, and all those objects are going to be uploaded to my namespace in this repository. We can also upload to a specific organization by using the organization argument. Once it's done, this command returns the URL of a commit we can go and inspect. Just before checking this, note that if you weren't using trainer, you can use the push to a method directly onto your model or your tokenizer. By passing the commit URL into my browser, I can access my repository called FineTuneBert, as expected. And I see that several files have been added. A model card, the model configuration, the model weights, as well as all the files required by the tokenizer. The trainer drafted a model card for us, which contained the final evaluation results, the IPR parameters used for training, the table of intermediate evaluation results, as well as the framework versions we are using. Now that this model is on the hub, we can use it from anywhere with the from pre-trained method. We just have to use the identifier for the hub and we can see that the model configurations and weights are automatically downloaded. We can use this model as we would any other Transformers model, for instance, by loading it in a pipeline. Since the MRPC dataset is a dataset of pairs of sentences where the task is to determine if two sentences are prophecies of one another or not, we use it on two sentences separated by the step token. It's a little bit disappointing to see that it's predicting label zero, which doesn't make any sense. That's because I didn't specify any label when I created the model configuration. Fixing this is super easy with the push to a API. First, we can fix the configuration by setting the label to ID and ID to label fields to the proper values. Then we can push the new configuration inside the repository. This command takes a bit of time because it actually clones the repo, puts the new config inside, and then commit and push to the fine tuned BERT repository. Once this is done, we can create a new pipeline and see that the new configuration file is downloaded automatically thanks to the built in version system and we get the proper label. We can also play directly with this model onto the model card using the inference widget. Note that the first time you use it, it can take a bit of time to load the model, which I'm going to cut from this video. Once the model is loaded, we can double check we get the same results as before on the widget. Try the push to web API on your models today.